Hello, my name's Richard Armitage, and I'm playing the role of Guy of Gisborne in Robin Hood. When I found out that I was going to be playing Guy of Gisborne, I looked back through as many of the old stories as possible of the original Robin Hood texts, of which there are quite a few, because they seem to be rewritten more or less every decade or every century or so. There's Victorian versions. They go back right to the original, which was a set of poems, which were very different from the story that we know today. And it's usually written at a time of civil unrest, when uh, there's something kind of threatening the, the peace and harmony of the nation. But I didn't want to be influenced too much by other material. So that was really it, just those stories. I don't remember reading the Robin Hood books, but it seems to be in the kind of nation's subconscious somewhere that you just always seem to be aware of it. I do remember this series in the 1980s being on with Michael Prade and then Jason Connery, I think it was. But the main thing I remember about that was the music, which was clad, I believe. And it was always on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday night or something, it would, but it, was, it always seemed to be on the Disney version of Robin Hood, where uh, Robin Hood's played by a fox. I don't know why I remember that, but um, I think there was a Ladybird book that I had as a very young child as well. I remember reading that. It's interesting, wherever you go in the world as well, most of the rest of the world seem to know about Robin Hood as well. I was recently in Vienna uh, at the fair and they had an archery shooting gallery which was called Robin Hood and basically you had all the characters and you took up a bow and arrow and you could just shoot them down. It was uh, great fun. I, uh, I won a huge cuddly Sheriff of Nottingham. I do remember sitting down with Lord of the Rings for weeks and weeks and weeks and just reading it. It started with The Hobbit. Actually I was read The Hobbit at primary school by a very good teacher who had a great reading voice. And so I went back home and started to read all the Tolkien stuff, but I did get quite obsessed with Lord of the Rings. And in a way, the Robin Hood stories are a similar kind of historic fantasy with good pitched against evil, which is why it does transcend time a little bit. And in a modern context, particularly in this, you know, this new series and this new adaptation which is being made, there's the opportunity to pick up on very contemporary parallels, particularly because... You know, when Robin Hood is set, it's set during a time of civil unrest. The king has left the country. He's gone to a foreign land to fight in a holy war. And there are clearly contemporary resonances that's, that, that are going to work in with that. And the idea of an oppressive regime, um, which is in place, again, is not, is not too far away from many modern contemporary references. And the constant fear of terror, which is created by this oppressive regime, is something which is very much being picked up on in this series. And again, I think this is something which can be related to by contemporary events. This particular series has got a has got a very modern edge to it. I think all of the writers and producers all have small children, so most of the sort of tests where they've they've kind of shown bits of episodes one and two, they've sat their children down and said, Do you think this is good? And there is there's a limited use, I suppose, I would say, of CGI, but it's enough to, to kind of spice up the action and, and you really see the arrows moving and you, you see big explosions and Nottingham Castle is this enormous kind of oppressive building. So in that respect, it's going to have an awful lot of energy and, and, and drive forward, which is what we come to expect now from action sequences and action movies, I suppose, because this is essentially um, an action-based drama. This is not the cosy men in green tights that it once was. You won't see a pair of tights in this series, ever. Not officially.